Yeah. But I look pretty cool with sunglasses. Ray Bans. These are the polarized ones, so they're really nice. Like it's clear. It works. All over Vans. Except you too. I look different with sunglasses though. I don't look as approachable. You just made it Except it still hurts. But anyway, it's Friday, new day. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tony. <laughs> Just got back from Chipotle. That look different without. How do I look with sunglasses, man? That look pretty weird. Anyway, um, it's Friday. Just got back from Chipotle. But yeah, um, if you guys would check out my Twitter, um, I talked about how really um, today I sort of faced, I guess you could say racism for the first time. Man, it's, I'm, I'm a little surprised, shocked, because it's the first time I've really faced that because I've always grown up in very diverse areas. I've grown up you know, in San Francisco. I grew up in Daly City where there's Filipinos, Latinos, Spanish, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean. It's very diverse and so, yeah, it doesn't matter if anyone's all white or all Filipino or anything. Everyone treats every, each person equally. And so I actually faced that for the first time today and it was kind of shocking, to be honest. You guess, I guess you could say I was stepped on. And um, man, it, it's sort of, I don't know. How, I, I can't really explain it. It feels like my heart just got really like stopped or like a little saddened to see that happen. And to be honest, now you really think about it, those things are still around and they will always be around. So this, whether you see racism or you know people are being prejudiced or people are looking down to you, um, don't ever, ever let that define who you are. Don't ever let that determine who you will become. Uh, you know, foreigners, people who came out, immigrants like my parents who had to come into America the hard way. You know, we make up America. We made up the way America is the way it is today. And so don't let, don't let that determine who you are, who you will become. So uh, what I'm doing, when that happens to me, the way I see it is, you know what? You know, this person can treat me whatever way he wants. That's never gonna discourage me. Because of that, I'm gonna out hustle that person. I'm gonna work harder. I'll be more successful. Not just that, that doesn't determine who, who I am, but not just that, I make sure that no matter what, that I'm always someone who really is a believer of Christ, someone who really lives that true walk of faith. Whether someone hates me, whether someone loves me, I love them back. And I'll tell you this, that's hard, man. That's not easy. <laughs> that's why, you know, you have to stay grounded in the word, but also remember who you are. I don't think that I'm always better than everyone, but I wanna work harder than everyone. Does that make sense? So. I know there are a lot of people who probably don't speak good English, people who follow me from all around the world right now. So hey, don't let your nationality, your skin color, the way you talk, don't ever let how people make fun of that determine you, who you'll be. That doesn't matter. All people care about are results. And how do you get results? You work hard and you hustle. How do you become a programmer? You work harder than the person next to you. If there's 10 people trying to get a job, you have to make sure you show them your value by how hard you work, by producing all those websites, all the functions, the customization things you do, your personality, the way you you know, show passion for what you want. You just have to out-hustle them. All right, <laughs> gotta go. All right, YouTube, so I just got off work. I'm heading uh, to the hospital again. This is the third time. I'm going to the hospital in like, I think three weeks. So, well, four weeks, it's a lot. Three, visiting the doctor three times in one month um it sucks man uh and the reason i'm going back to the hospital today is for not so good reasons <laughs> you have to be thankful for what you have now i mean being a developer having the best job in the world even having a big youtube channel life isn't all about that guys it's really about it's really being happy 
you know, being thankful for those around you, enjoying what you have instead of always wanting something that you don't have. There'll always be something in your life that you don't have. So don't ever let that determine whether you're happy or not. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone Uh oh Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know I wanna know If I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red lights I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone I'm not gonna lose myself I'll be standing high And I'll win the fight Not gonna lose myself And I wanna know Yeah, I wanna know I came straight through the dirt My sleeves pulled up and my head held high No shirt, no shoes, but a beating heart And I made sure that my tongue was tied Try to shut up and just put up With all the lies they told Guess this is what it's like when you grow up I'm feeling old Some say it's normal when you get formal It comes with age, what a mistake Cause when I was a kid I dreamt of something greater Like standing on a stage and hearing all those people shout my name But now I'm hanging low and What's up YouTube? <laughs> hey, um, so I just arrived here I arrived here at Kaiser Hospital What's up Instagram? So I'm here I am here, here, back at Kaiser Hospital. It's the third time I've been back at this hospital, three times in I believe three weeks or four weeks. Three times in one month, man. <sighs> Stay healthy. Stay healthy. <laughs> Just parked, waiting for Midori to come, then I'm gonna go in. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm really nervous to see the doctor. Honestly, I'm sort of like, I'm really terrified because I don't really know what to expect. So, here we go. Here we go. I'm standing high and I win the fight. I came straight through the dirt, my sleeves pulled up, and my head held high. No shirt, no shoes, but a beating heart, and I made sure that my tongue was tied. Try to shut up and just put up with all the lies they told. Guess this is what it's like when you grow up. I'm feeling old. Some say it's normal when you get formal. It comes with age, what a mistake. Cause when I was a kid, I dreamt of something greater. Like standing on a stage and hearing all those people shout my name. But now I'm hanging low and looking for someone to blame. So I'm not gonna lose my to the wrong floor again. Third floor. I'm on the second floor. Alright YouTube, so I'm here at the um, room as before. Uh, here to see my doctor here at Kaiser. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about my lab results, what to do next. Um, back again. I'm nervous, but yeah, we're good. Back here. Can somebody come and see me? I just wanna know. To win a surprise that you pay with this tonight. So keep playing hard and aim for the stars. Cause to win a surprise that you pay with this tonight. I'm not gonna lose myself this time. Alright, YouTube, guess what? Good news um, from Kaiser. The news isn't as bad as I thought. Uh, the problem. So yeah, it's still bad, but not as bad. Well, the problem is that the nurse that I spoke to originally with on the phone told me that I might have cancer. <laughs> but she miscommunicated, meaning like I sort of heard it incorrectly. Uh, when I thought she was saying something, she really meant something else. And so it's not as bad as I thought. So I should be alive. Yeah. So good news. Dev's life is still continuing. <laughs> so um, we're here last time getting Coco's chicken for a long time. Alright YouTube, this is teaching Midori how to box. 
Okay, ready? Alright. Okay, slow, slow. So she was trying to do this. 